in this lecture let us discuss about word embeddings which are a type of representation for text where words or phrases from the vocabulary are mapped to vectors of real numbers in a continuous vector space these embeddings allow machines to understand and process the relationships between words based on their meanings instead of treating each word as a discrete isolated token like one hot encoding embeddings enable a more a better understanding by capturing semantic relationships so here uh, you can see the example dog will be represented like this and cat so this is a vector representation for the cat whereas banana will be represented like this so word embeddings are way of representing words as vectors so all these are vectors which are nothing but array of numbers then why word embedding so why we need them first thing is capturing semantic meaning so words that are semantically similar will have similar vector representations say if you take uh, king and queen they might have similar embeddings because they share similarities in meaning and context second one is reducing dimensionality traditional methods like one hot encoding they lead to high dimensional vectors that are sparse that means mostly zeros whereas as word embeddings they allow us to represent words in much lower dimensional dense vector spaces then uh, contextual understanding embeddings helps to represent words in a meaningful way depending on the context especially in models that have learned embeddings in context like word to vec glove or even bert model so let us see how these embeddings work the main goal of embeddings is to position similar words closer to each other in the vector space so all the words which are similar to each other they should be represented closer to each other in the vector space say if you take words cat and dog they'll have embeddings that are close to each other in this space because both of them are animals key techniques for learning the word embeddings first one is word to vec so here you can use either skipgram or cbao models skipgram means provided the target word model will try to predict the context words that means words are surrounding the target word say for example the sentence is the dog barked loudly so in that sentence assume that this dog is a target word okay so model should try to predict the neighboring words or near uh, surrounding words like barked loudly then cbao means it is the opposite of the skipgram so if the surrounding words or uh, context words are provided then the model should predict the target word so here based on surrounding words the and barked model should predict target word dog then second model is glove which is nothing but global vectors for word representation so unlike this word to vec which is based on local context glove is always based on global statistical information of the corpus so it will always try to find low dimensional representation of words by factorizing word coherence matrix then fast text so this is considered as an extension of word to vec and it will break the words into subwords or also called as ngrams in order to handle in a better way so that it can handle this morphologically rich languages or even out of vocabulary words in a better way then we have bert that is bidirectional line encoder representation from transformers bert provide contextual word embeddings which is nothing but representation of word depends on the surrounding context say if you take word bank so bank will have different embeddings based on the context so it may be either a river river bank or it may be bank loan okay so based on the context that uh, meaning of the word changes so that will be represented in a better way using bert model let us see example for word embeddings In the first example, we are considering word to vec. So let us take uh, two simple sentences: the cat sat on the mat, the dog sat on the mat. Here, assume that the model has learned these vector embeddings 
for the words cat dog sat and mat so when we compute the cosine similarity between the vectors for words cat and dog we get high similarity score indicating that the model understand that these words are related yes so cat and dog both of them are animals so here the similarity score for both of them should be high so that will be shown using this cosine similarity so we'll see that so cosine similarity between two vectors a and b can be computed by using this formula where a dot b this a dot b is the dot product of the vectors a comma b and a b they are the magnitudes of vectors a and b so let us compute the cosine similarity between words cat and dog in a simplified three dimensional space calculate dot product for the words cat and dog so 0.2 into 0.3 plus 0.1 into 0.2 plus 0.3 into 0.3 so here we got this value then find out cat so we got this for dog we got 0.469 and finally sub substitute these values in this formula in order to get the cosine similarity value so you can see that this is a higher cosine similarity value it shows that cat and dog are very similar in meaning let us take one more word embedding technique that is contextual embeddings but so in but the word bank they will have different meanings or different embeddings depending on the context so in the first example we are discussing about the river bank so sentences i went to the river bank so here embedding for bank it might be close to words like river water shore or based on the context embedding of the bank will be closer to these corresponding words whereas if you take second sentence i went to the bank to withdraw money so in this context embedding of bank will change so here this embedding will be close to words like money atm finance etc bird uses the surrounding words to generate more context sensitive embeddings for this word bank example of word embedding relationships for synonymy so that means words with similar meanings usually they'll be close to each other in the vector space so if you take uh, car and automobile so they'll have similar embeddings because they refer to the same thing in the same way happy and joyful so as they are synonyms they'll be close to each other in the vector space so here you can see the vectors for cat and automobile right so you can see they are quite closer to each other these vectors because both words refer to the same concept that means vehicle then syntactic relationships so word embeddings they can even capture the syntactic relationships like plural forms verb tenses or even comparative forms so the relationship between run and ran or big and bigger they can be captured these are the vector representations so you can see the vector ran it is derived from run in a way that reflects the past tense just as bigger is derived from big and the third one is country capital relationships so word embeddings can capture common relationships like country capital pairs say france is to paris germany is to berlin and these are the vector representations here you can see in the vector space paris will be close to france and you can see how close they are to each other because paris is the capital of france in the same way this germany and berlin they are close to each other in the vector space in word relationships based on context so even uh, contextual embeddings like uh, those from bert or gpt3 they even allow the same word to have different vector representations based on its context so if you take the same word bank so bank will have different vector representation based on the context so if it is financial institution that embedding will be different 
and if it is the side of the river then that embedding will be different so that depends on the context word clusters for categories so word embeddings often uh, group words into categories or clusters all the words which are similar to each other they'll be placed in one category or one cluster so if you take animals so like cat dog lion tiger so all of them will be placed in this group animal and apple banana orange grape so all of them will be placed in the cluster or group fruit and you can find the embeddings like this in vector space embeddings for words from the same category like dog cat lion and tiger they'll cluster together whereas the embeddings for words like apple banana and orange they'll form a separate cluster for fruits